Hi guys, I'm Emmy Lou, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to draw a shark. I'm an artist, so I'm still in Vienna, and I'm leaving in a couple of days, and then I'll be in America. So let's go and draw the shark. I want to sort of do it based on an artist called Jason Takeres. He was an he's an artist who's um, in Mexico, and uh, he does underwater. It's like a, an exhibition underwater. It's really cool. So try and Google it, Jason Takeres, if you can, or ask your parents. Okay, the first thing we need to do, it's really cool today, I absolutely love sharks. We're going to do the nose of the shark, but we're going to do the whole body as well. So somewhere on your paper, there, we're going to do a really cool, it's like a roof of a house, but it's not pointy. So it's kind of like rounded, and then we're just going to do, under that, we're going to do two little nostrils there and there so you know roughly where you're going and then next to that we're going to do an eye but it's not going to actually be the eyes we're going to draw where the eye is going to go so just at the bottom she's going to do a shape like that and then we can do the little itty bitty eyes so just an eye like that is fine if you can't see what i've done i did a shape like a jelly bean and then colored all that in so like that would be fine, depends how you want to draw the eyes really. And then we're going to do, just touch that bit there and you're going to go in. So just a line in, this bit's a little bit tricky, but it's like, um, tell me of a capital D. It's like that all the way, so it's like. And then we want to do under that or over that we're gonna do just a line like this so if that's a little bit tricky we did shape like this then coming from there we just copied that shape but then we went up that's quite tricky just try it just try it and see if you where you get with it then we're just gonna carry on with this line so I don't know if you can see it, but where that went like this, I went wee, and then went in a little bit. If you're not quite sure, it's okay to just do a normal kind of egg shape. Then we're going to do like an arrow that's going to go like that, because he's got his big mouth open. And then we're just going to do a line like that, because he's open in his mouth. And if you think about shark teeth, so serrated, they're so sharp. So they're actually, they're actually the, this shape, which looks a bit odd, not quite like that, but they're a bit like that. They're kind of like, like that. So we don't have to draw that. We can do some, some of our own scurry teeth. So we could do some teeth like that. Whoa. So those could be the teeth. Then we're just going to do like an ice cream cone for the body. So we're going to take the eyes where we have got there and we're just going to go, whoa. Then do a shape like that. So a C shape and go like a carrot and then join it up. I've done it a little bit lighter because I didn't want to, I've got to rub out of my masking tape like I normally do. So it looks a bit like a carrot now, or a cornetto. Mm, you know, it's on a day like today. Then we're going to do the shark fin. So we're just going to, on there, we're just going to go... Yeah. And then we've got some other fins. He's got quite a few fins. So we're just going to go little one there, triangle. There's one just under here. So just one like that. I think that's a shark in Nemo that looks so cool. Reminds me of this one. And then this one, because he's got it nearer to his body, it's going to be like that. And you're going to go over that carrot shape or the cornetto or whatever it is. Then you're going to do those lines because that's where he breathes out of. I didn't bring it up. This is gills, a bit like a fish. Because it's kind of like a fish, isn't it? Okay. But then we're going to do triangle there. And then we're going to just do the... <coughs> The tail is a little bit like, 
just like that really it's like a fish so it doesn't really matter lost my lid but never mind now we could do it sort of in some reeds couldn't we as in seaweed and if you want to you could do some bubbles coming up no, it might look like a fish if you do too many bubbles and then you could just do stones and something like that would be cool and then we can start to colour our shark you could do it chasing something if you like so let's think about the colour of the shark I quite like black just realised I lost the lid of my pen but it's actually on top of my pen okay then so I'm going to take the black I'm going to take the black you could have a blue shark but I quite like the black we're going to do, the tummy is normally quite light, so why don't we just outline them. We're going to outline the shark in black. Ah, ah, I just forgot. Where's the mouse going to take? Right, just have to rub out two things and then we're good to go. Just have to rub out what's inside that fin and what's inside this fin. So it's this line. So rub out whatever's in there and whatever's in there because it's at the front of the body. It makes sense when I colour it in like I'm sure it always does. Kind of. Kind of. Okay, look at that. Okay, and only, well, go around here, but don't go inside the mouth. Okay. Now, we want it to look more like a shark, so we're going to do a bit of colour at the top but don't do too much because black's so easy to smudge and then it looks really dark so only do it here and there okay wherever i've done it if you can do the same that'll be amazing then we're going to take red gonna take red and we're gonna go inside but you could do a pink but red looks really cool Got to be really careful not to go over the teeth. If you do, it's not the end of the world. Just try your hardest not to. Um, and then inside here is black. Sorry, I completely forgot. Because it's inside the mouth. Okay, and black line as well. He looks quite scary already, doesn't he? So then we're going to take our little, little finger. And we're going to draw over. So you're going to smooth the edge. First smooth and then we can blend in a minute. So just go over really carefully. Whoa. And then we can blend it in, but only blend in a little bit because some of him, some of him's white. Because his nose is generally white when he goes up like that. You could if you like, this might be quite cool, to just do a little bit of blue here and there. Don't do too much. It's just to make it look like it's not completely black. Because it's quite nice to have different types of different colours. Like if you look at my skin, it's not just one colour, you've got all different different bits. Okay, and then you're gonna smooth, be really super careful when you do that bit. And if you go over the teeth by accident, don't worry. Get the black. You don't want to do felt tip at this point because it ruins the um, felt tip. But we can do chalk pastel if you just take your time. If you've done your teeth big enough, then it might look really cool. Um, whoa, whoa. And then there's your shark, pretty much. If you wanted to do the mouth more like that, you can because he's got a bit of a strange, <laughs> strange look to his face, but. Um, I think that looks quite sharky to be honest, I quite like it. So then when we do the background you could just put it in complete blue if you like. Complete blue and then you can do a bit of green. Make sure you use two greens if possible because then it looks more realistic. Because then when you blend it kind of looks more like it's actually seaweed. And then the stones, I always like to sort of outline stuff. So you can outline that. But then you can have another colour and then just smudge and it kind of looks, just looks kind of cool. So there is the shark. 
Make sure you subscribe and like, and I will see you next week when I'll be in America. All right, bye guys. Happy drawing, your shark.